So many businesses fail because they do not know how to market their business. So many people that want to get into business never do it because they do not know and understand the simple principles that are used to market a business. If you knew how to do this, you would not only get excited when you have a good idea or a good product, you would know that for sure you're actually going to go ahead and launch that product in the marketplace and make sure that you get paid. In this episode, we're going to go ahead and share with you how to market your business and make sure you have the best chances of achieving success. So with me, I have Alonzo. Alonzo is on our team. Alonzo, you have some questions that people have asked. So let's go ahead and kick it off and I'm ready when you are. Awesome, awesome, Nick. So, you know, with you building multi-million dollar businesses, the experience you have, you know, something people really want to know. And if you could share your point of view and how you see things from the experience you have, how can you market on social media? How is that something you work on and how you achieve? So. If somebody is first getting started, I would keep it very, very simple, right? I wouldn't, I wouldn't make the most complex plan. I would keep it very simple. So step one is going to be looking at the people that are selling the product that you want to sell. And the reason why you do this is because you want to make sure that you're modeling successful actions. So many people get discouraged because they go and they're testing some bright new idea that they have, but it never really picks up traction and you're gonna be a lot better off finding those businesses that are doing content, that are making content, that are getting sales and then modeling them. Now, when you do that, you're gonna go ahead and make a list of all of the different businesses that are doing that. And then you pick, you pick and choose which one do you resonate with, which one do you not only resonate with, but which one do you feel like, hey, if I, you know, I think I can make something like that. I feel like if, you know, I could kind of make something like that and maybe it's not going to be as good up front. It's probably not going to be uh, as good up front, but as time goes on, you'll get better and better at it. So step one, find companies that are successfully marketing. Step two, make a list of those companies and then decide which type of content can you model. Okay. And then step three is to go out and actually just start deploying it to the marketplace. When I say deploy, I mean just putting it out there. And then as time goes on, you'll start to notice that, hey, when I post this type of video, it actually gets some traction. When I post this type of video, it actually starts to bring in sales. When I post this type of video, nobody responds and nobody buys anything. And really that, that would be the simplest way to get started. If somebody was more advanced and let's just say they were already getting sales in their business, maybe they're doing five, 10, 20, $30,000 a month, and they're doing this all organically. Now they need to look at other methods to market their business. I, I like to go ahead and we have this thing that we do internally. We call it the rain method. Rain method stands for referrals, advertising, integrated partnerships, as well as network partnerships, rain. So this is a little bit more advanced, but for people that are maybe getting some sales organically, they could use this model or this method to really make a quantum leap. So what that looks like is this. So our referrals, that's probably already happening. There is ways to set up systems so you can get more referrals and create a system. And then you have A, which is advertising. Advertising is gonna be where you're actually spending money to get in front of people. This could be through Facebook, YouTube, TikTok. It could be through billboards. Doesn't really matter what the platform is. What's more important is what is the ecosystem that you have when people come into your business? What I mean by that is this, is for us and the companies that I run, we could spend money on pretty much any platform and make money because we have a marketing ecosystem that people come into and we know that eventually they're gonna purchase from us. It's just a matter of time. So that's A. I, integrated partnerships. There's actually a deal that I just set up this last week where we're actually partnering with a company that's getting about 5,000 leads every single week into their business. And what they're gonna do is we're actually giving a free access, a free trial to our software for every single lead. That's called an integrated partnership where all of their new customers get introduced to my business. That's a more complex type of way to grow, but once you do it, it's actually really simple, but once you can learn how to set those deals up, you can literally grow exponentially. Network partnership is very, very similar, but in this case, you have a network. So for example, there's another deal that I'm working right now where there's a network in different cities, um, LA, uh, Vegas, Miami, 
uh, Chicago, and it's a network, a hub of different business professionals. And what we're doing is we're actually becoming a part of the network as a sponsor and as an authorized vendor of services. So literally, we're getting introduced by this network to all of these business owners, and we're, they're all quality. All of them are doing millions of dollars, so that's another way to grow. So that's a little bit more complex, and that's kind of the next level. You have the first level where you're, you know, you're doing free stuff, and then you have the next levels where you can get a little bit more strategic and make those quantum leaps. Amazing, Nick. Amazing. Thank you for sharing that. You know, that's that's such a huge impact on what you're sharing the tips you're giving every single one so they can implement them into their business now i guess going based off what you just said a second common question they ask is when is the right time to market your business so the right time to market your business is uh yesterday okay so if you want to grow your business you you want to go ahead and, and get it out there so many people that are trying to get started with the business they literally will spend so much time and money developing a product, going out there and pouring. There was one guy that came to my mind right now who poured a few hundred thousand dollars into developing his product, his branding. And what he did is, is he went and made it and he's like, cool, let me go and try to market it now. And that's the wrong way to go because he ended up in a situation where he went, he basically went on to bankruptcy and he, he failed. When you are marketing your business and don't take this from me only, but take this from other entrepreneurs that are doing seven, eight, nine figures, one thing that they do when they're launching any business or product is they make sure that there's demand. They make sure that there's needs. So for example, one thing that we'll do is we will do pre-sales or we'll go and do um, a survey to see if there is demand. So for example, like it could be like this. Let's just use this as an example. Say someone wants to go ahead and start a service where they're going to personal train. Well, they could go and make their whole entire personal training program for 12 weeks and it's all about fat loss and it's, you know, and they spend so much time doing this. They spend so many hours, maybe they even hire a videographer to record them and they do all this stuff. But then when they launch, they realize, man, nobody in their audience really wanted to lose weight. They all wanted to make muscle. So now they're marketing the wrong product. So point being is the sooner, the better to start marketing and to start seeing the demand that's out there and, and whatnot. Um, with that being said, if you already have a product and you're trying to figure out, you know, how to market it sooner than later, that's something where I would look at the ad library. I would look at, you can go to Facebook, Google, Facebook ad library, and you could actually look up and see the ads of your competitors to see how they're marketing it to get really good ideas. Perfect, perfect. And if you guys are not picking up all this knowledge that Nick is giving us and sharing with us, you guys have to tune in. Nick is definitely sharing some gold nuggets, you know, and then with also that being said, you know, there is one last question out of all the experience you have. What is one thing you could share with the viewer that has revolutionized your business in marketing? So the biggest, the biggest thing that really helped me have a quantum leap in marketing was when I went from my business was doing $20,000 a week to then going to $200,000 a week. And this happened over a 30 day period, very, very fast. And I actually met with someone um, that I now do business with, but he has, he spent millions and millions of dollars. He spent over $15 million in his own money running ads with clients. He spelled, spent over 30, 45 million, like with clients that he's ran ads for. So he is a professional marketer. Um, he's ran um, campaigns for fortune 500 companies. And um, he's somebody that, you know, I met with and we did a, we call it a mastermind. And what we did was, is he, I had a place in Hollywood Hills and he came up and we basically shared what was working. So for him, he shared all about everything that he was doing in marketing. And I shared everything I was doing with building my sales team, because at that time I had a really, really good sales team because I also worked as a sales consultant, you know, years ago with a guy named Grant Cardone. And basically he shared his tips. I shared mine. And after that meeting, I really took away one big thing. And that big thing that I took away was one big idea was that when he runs his ads, he runs them like a scientist. And what I mean by that is this. So I asked him a question. I said, Hey, uh, Jay, I'm going to call him Jay. Um, Hey Jay. So when you're running, you know, your campaigns, dude, just tell me the formula, tell me the secret formula to run ads. Like how much do I spend here, here and there? And, and basically his answer was 
Yeah, so you see what I do is I, I, I get all my ads set up and I test all the different features on Facebook. And then what I do is I, I actually analyze which ones make me the most money. And then that's how I determine where to put more money. And I'm just like, okay, that's so simple. But it made sense because I was thinking about the, it the wrong way. I was thinking about, hey, what's the formula? Like, how do I set up my campaigns and where do I spend my money? And he basically said, you test everything. And by doing that, the winners will reveal themselves and that's where you're gonna pour more money. And that's what I did. And that helped me go from $20,000 a week in revenue to $200,000 a week in revenue with one of my businesses. And that was really one of the most impactful moments with ads, but it also was very impactful in the other types of marketing that I was doing. So I think like that with organic content. I think with that, with launching a new uh, product even, I think with that, with any type of marketing that I'm doing where it's like, hey, look, these are the things we could do. Let's test them out and see what actually works. And the thing I make sure though, is once I find something that is a winner and I know it works, I need to double down on that. I need to pour gasoline on the fire and do more of that. So it's not all about always testing, but it's testing until you find something that works and then you double down on that, right? And that's one thing that we were actually talking about, Alonzo, you know, earlier, earlier today. Awesome, awesome. Thank you for sharing that, absolutely. So, you know, with us asking the last question, thank you for your time, Nick, you know, especially for sharing this. If you had to start from the beginning, losing everything overnight, and you want to start a business in marketing, what would be the first step you'd take? The first step that I would take if I were to lose everything and I wanted to, you know, really go into marketing and do, do I have experience or I don't have experience? Let's just say, uh, you have some sort of experience, not okay. the full knowledge, you know, now, but some sort of experience. So let's just say I have a little bit of experience where maybe I know a little bit about social media management. I know a bit about, you know, you know, whatever it is very beginner, right? Um, so what I would do is number one, I would set up a curriculum for myself to learn more about marketing and i would i would want to become a professional so i would have some type of regimen where every single week i'm learning a new part of marketing copywriting making ads editing i would keep learning these different skill sets not necessarily to be the best at them but to have enough awareness so that i understand how they work so that eventually i could be that person that could run a marketing team okay so that's something i would do as a personal commitment now you don't need to do that before you do the actual advice that i'm going to give but that is something i would be doing in the background the next thing that i would do is i would work with a company that has potential for me to learn Okay, it could be a company that you see a ton of potential in, you see vision in, maybe you're gonna go ahead and work with you know, the founder who is an amazing marketer. Maybe it's a company that has an amazing marketing team already and you're gonna come into the team and get to learn from the team. Maybe it's a company that basically um, you've seen the marketing and you're like, wow, that's really good and that inspires you, but you wanna go and eventually get in proximity two people that are good at marketing and what that's going to do is because you're there with the proximity you're going to be tapping in and that's one of the best ways to learn there you can learn through just studying okay that's one way to learn or you can learn through osmosis and what that means is when you learn through osmosis it's when you're near somebody that is actually able to do that um skill set and you learn just by by watching just by being in the environment so that's really the fastest way to go and get up and running Thank you, Nick, for sharing that valuable wisdom with all of us that, you know, we had all these questions. So is there anything else that you'd like to conclude with? I would just say this. If you guys are watching this, we're going to be doing more of these, right? Actually, our goal is to do one every single day on different topics of business, different skills, that kind of stuff. And if you want to go ahead and tune in, you can subscribe, you know, give this video a like. It does, you know, help, you know, the algorithm. And uh, with that, we'll see you in the next video.